So continuing our series on probability, a probability using permutation, and just want you to remember that permutation is um, is an order ordering of events where order does not matter, where order doesn't matter. So uh, here we have ten bikers who compete in a hundred mile race, and the question is how many different ways can they finish the race? Well, think about it this way: you have they're going to come in, they're going to finish 1 through 10, aren't they? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Assuming there are no ties and assuming that they're all equally likely to win at the beginning, how many of them have a chance of winning first place? Well, 10 of them, right? But once one of them gets finishes first, how many riders are left? Well, there are 9. And once the first two riders have finished, how many riders could come in third place? Well, there's 8, 7, 6, whoops. Six, five, four, three, two. Of course, when all these other riders have finished, the last guy, there's only one way, isn't there? The last guy is going to finish at last. So what does that turn into? How many ways could they finish? Well, they could finish 10 factorial. 10 factorial means this. 10 times this, times this, times this, times this, times this, times this, times this. Your calculator has a button for it probably under the... Um, under the probability section, but 10 factorial, if you want to know, happens to be 3,628,800. So there are 3,628,800 different ways that these riders could finish in, in order in this race. So of course, when they first start, all 10 of them have a good shot of winning first place. But once one of them does, there are only nine riders left, assuming that there are no ties and they're all still equally willing to, uh, equally able to take second place, etc. Okay? So here's where it gets a little bit different. It says, in how many w different ways can three of the riders come in? So now we're only going to count, right? We're going to count it this way. We're going to count first, second, and third places, right? So we're going to have how many riders could come in first? Well, 10 of them until one of them does. And then there are still nine left. So nine of them could finish in second place. And once Somebody finishes in first and second, only leaves eight riders left, so eight of them could finish. So it's 10 times 9 times 8. Again, we're using the fundamental counting principle, and it's 720 ways. If you care about the um, if you care about the formula of it all, it says this. It says that the permutation of n events taken r at a time can be written formulaically as n factorial. That's the number, 10 in this case, n factorial n minus 1 factorial. If you have questions about that, watch my next video because I'm going to do that on the uh, Texas, one of the Texas Instruments calculators, and I'll show you step by step how to use your calculator to do that. So hopefully this was helpful. I'm looking forward to your comments.